G'day friends and welcome to another one of my videos. Today it's a beautiful autumn's day and why not get out of the house and enjoy it. I think it's going to be a beautiful sunset as well. So I'm here in Berry Island on Sydney's lower north shore and it's such a beautiful uh, day to actually test out filters. Now I haven't touched upon these in previous videos and I thought we should try them out and see if we can improve the M50's photo and video capabilities. So if you want to find out how that turns out, well then stick around. Uh, you always said you for a better thing. Wanna replace me? I'm in a place that I've never been. It's worse than lonely. Can someone tell me there's a good in me? There's good in me. Cause I got doubts, I got doubts, I got doubts, yeah. Sometimes I wanna risk it all. Since you left me. And welcome back. Now a lot of people talk about the M50 about how good a vlogging camera it is. Obviously it's very small and compact and uh, it has all the features required for uh, let's say video on the go. But I really wanted to test out to see if uh, with a few adjustments uh, such as filters how good of images can we get? So today we're looking for a nice quiet spot in the harbour where we can test uh, two filters. Uh, the first one is a neutral density one that we're going to see if we can do uh, long exposures to see if we can get a beautiful, let's say, still water images. So I've decided to come here uh, during sunset to see if we can actually get, you know, a beautiful uh, long exposure video. And the other one is uh, the filter that I got is a radial uh, polarizing filter. Now the radial polarizing filter will allow us to take the glare out of the water uh, in order for us to get you know beautiful colors from the images. So uh, I'm heading towards there now doing a bit of a, a bush trek. Uh, sometimes um, the best spots are not that easy to get to but with a bit of care uh, and a bit of hunting around uh, we should find a really good spot. I think this will do the trick. Okay, so I think I've made my decision about my subject. So I'm going to take my shot overlooking this bay behind me. There's a beautiful old pier in the back and I'm going to see if I can make that the subject of my shot. Now, if I can't do it uh, with the 11 to 22, I'm going to try a different lens because I think if I really want to make my pier that center of attention, I'm probably going to be too far from it using the lens that I'm using right now. I'm going to try to combine the polarizing filter and the ND filter together so I can cut out the glare and also, you know, reduce my stop light so I can do that nice long exposure. So it's going to be a bit of trial and error. Hopefully I can get it done before the sun goes down. So here it goes. Circular polarizing filters remove unwanted reflections by selecting which light rays enter your camera's lens. This increases color saturation, bringing better clarity and contrast while leaving the overall color balance unaffected. This is one example of how the glare can be removed from the water just to reveal the rocks underneath. Here's a before and an after shot. As you can see, the colors pop when you get rid of that reflection. I'll be using my filter more frequently now. Well, that's quite informative. As the sun goes down, uh, I'm getting my last shots and it's been some good trial and error. 
obviously using the two uh, lenses in uh, combination is a little bit difficult uh, because obviously the very dark ND filter sort of counters that uh, view of the actual uh, polarizing lens. So you really don't know if you've got it nice and uh, set up. So um, the pros. Pros is that I've got some fantastic shots uh, with uh, the neutral density filter. Uh, I'm gonna post them just uh, in a second so you can see them. And I was really, really impressed by the results and I can't wait to actually go to other areas and maybe do some uh, night photography to see how that turns out. So it's just open yet another um, world of photography for me. So I can't wait to try that out. Secondly, um, the, the, I guess a polarizing filter does really work, but I think you have to be really sensitive of the subject. For example, in this particular situation, um, you want to make sure that it actually has a, a nice, uh, I guess uh, you can compose it really nicely so you can get the real benefits of that. I think uh, standing in this sort of ledge, I'm a little bit too high from the water. So I'm losing uh, some of the benefits of actually, you know, uh, getting rid of that glare. But uh, I'm going to try again in, in different areas. Now with uh, the neutral density filter, before I forget, um, obviously too it's really important to make sure that wherever you are there's not too much movement obviously if you have boats or things moving uh, while you're in uh, they're in focus uh, you're gonna get this ghost effect right where this uh, moving object sort of gets its trail which would be kind of cool at night time so I'm gonna try that out so that that's one of the things to consider the other thing that I found that uh, uh, maybe a little bit um, hard uh, to actually deal with <laughs> the first time around is that there is a bit of vignetting so you know darkness around the corners and that's obviously because of the lenses sort of trying to fight against each other so my recommendation is is that you either use the ND filter or you use the actual um, polarizing filter until you get used to you know working it out so I'm going to do some more practicing to see how that goes and the other thing that I noticed especially in some shots is that um, if there is a little bit of dust on your lens with a long exposure that's actually going to get bigger and bigger the longer the exposure like while I'm looking through the lens uh, without the filters I can't see the dust particle but as um, as the uh, I guess long exposure um, sort of goes on for longer that particular spec gets bigger and bigger and bigger so I'm gonna have to fix that in post-production Okay, one of the things that's become extremely painful is the fact that uh, all of the Canon M50 lenses have a different diameter. And so that means that you're going to have to buy a neutral density filter and ND filters for every lens that you have. Unless we can get some adapters, of course, you know, you can do that. But it's very painful. Why couldn't they've come up with a single um, thread size? That would have been awesome if they were all 55 millimeter or something like that. Like me, you probably watch a lot of videos that review cameras, especially the new ones that have come out. Those mirrorless ones are very tempting and I'm always considering whether I should upgrade. Uh, but as I learn more and more about the functionality of my camera, the one that I invested in, I'm starting to discover that maybe for what I use it for, uh, an upgrade is not necessary just yet. So uh, the whole point of me doing these videos is to learn uh, how to get the most out of the camera uh, that I've currently got. And uh, as the more I watch uh, videos, instructional videos on YouTube about photography, I'm starting to learn so much more. And this little camera here is quite capable. So um, the urge to upgrade has been subdued for now. 
all in all, uh, it was a great experiment for the very first time. So short video, but I hope uh, that you uh, liked it and it inspires you to go and pick up a, a couple of uh, lenses to see what you can do extra with your camera. So if you like the video, give me a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, we'll be doing more videos with the uh, M50 as time goes by. Hopefully I can learn so much more to stop me from <laughs> buying yet another camera. But um, I'm enjoying it, enjoying it in the meantime. So until the next time, ciao for now.